Hello students, today we make automatic door opening system using motion sensor. Now we start the project. First we open Tinker Cat. This is the Tinker Cat text board. And now search the component. First we search Arduino UNO. Drag and drop here Arduino UNO. Now second I will search sensor PIR. PIR motion sensor. This is Motion, motion sensor also there is three pins signal pin connect to the digital pin of Arduino and connect to analog pin and power pin and third is ground pin ground pin is negative pin connect to the negative pin now search breadboard take one mini breadboard for the LED purpose and take two LED one and second take second LED now take two resistors for the LED and one servo motor servo motor is used for door opening and closing system this is servo motor now I have to connect the circuit first we connect to the PIR sensor This is signal pin. Signal pin connects to the digital pin of Arduino. I have connected D4 pin. Now, power pin connects to the 5 volt of Arduino. This is 5 volt. And also change the color red. Then you identify this is a positive pin. Now second is negative. Connect to the negative of the Arduino. That is negative. And now connect to the servo motor. In the servo motor there are there are also three pin ground, power, and signal pin. Signal pin connect to the digital pin of Arduino. I have to connect digital pin 7. Servo motor is connected to the digital pin 7. Now, now I have to connect power pin. Power pin connect to the 5 volt of Arduino. This is a 5 volt. Make the color red and ground pin connect to the BMB of Arduino. This is a negative pin. That is negative pin. Goes to black. Now PIR sensor and servo motor is connected to the Arduino. Now we have to connect LED. Change the color of LED. Click on the LED and there is an option to change the color. Where is the color? 5 6 color. I have selected A. Now put the resistor to the cathode pin of LED. Cathode pin means negative. You can see there is, in the LED there is two terminals. One is cathode and second is anode. Cathode means negative and anode means positive. And second pin of the resistor connects to the GND of Arduino means ground of the Arduino. Now second resistor also connects to the cathode pin. He also connects to the ground. Now connect to the ground pin of this also. Now change the value of the resistor. Simply click on the resistor and there is the option to change the range of the resistor. 330 ohm. 330 ohm. We have 330 ohm and change this kilo ohm to ohm. Second resistor also you can change the value 330 ohm. Click here and select ohm. Now, now connect the LED anode pin. LED anode pin connect to the 11 pin. 11 pin connect to the red LED and 9 pin connect to green LED 
everything you can remember the pin because we have to put the pin in the board now this is a circuit now circuit is completed and click on the board section this is a board section and delete this board after that i have already told you when you use a register always create variable create pir sensor pir sensor now there is this underscore click okay don't put the space there okay then you can see there is creating full box set pin to zero we have to take now zoom also and here we put pir sensor connect to the digital pin of board we go to the input block read digital pin if i am connected to the analog pin then we use read analog pin select the pin four after that we have to see the value in serial monitor then go to the output block and take pin to serial monitor in the hello world we have to put variable now start simulate and check the condition check the value of pir now pir sensor is not active when when someone is motion in front of the pir sensor then value goes to 1 you can see now the value is 1 if no one from the pir sensor then value is 0 there is no motion the pir sensor is well value zero if if motion is there then pir motion sensor value is one now to drop it and go to the control block here we take if else condition if sensor if sensor give the value one then my door opening my door is open and green area now go to the math block And take the triangle block of condition block. Here we put the PIR sensor. After that, you can put equal to equal to. If sensor is active and value is one, go to the output block. There is servo pin. You can see rotate servo pin on zero. Another we take rotate servo pin zero. Servo is connected to seven pin. We have to put seven. Here also we have to put seven. Now, if conditions are follow, then this block is operate. Execute this block is execute. If sensor not if the value one, then this block this block block is execute. Now here we put nineteen, and here we put zero. Now start simulate. If motion is there, then you can see servo motor is operating. You can see there is a, this is a door, door is open, and uh, after some time door is automatically closed. If there is motion in front of the PIR sensor, this is a obstacle. You can rotate this obstacle, then door is automatically open. After some time, then the door will be closed if there is no motion. now another we have to give a condition if door is open then green led indicate if door is closing then red led indicate now go to the set pin we have to take set pin to set pin green led connect to the nine now we have to put nine and make high and red led connect to the 11 11 pin and make here low Here is the servo is rotating and green LED on and red LED off. Now right click, right click and duplicate this part and put here. Now green LED is connect to the nine, then goes to low, and red LED connect to eleven, goes to high. Now start simulate. Start simulate. You can see the door is closed. And red LED indicating means door is closed. If there is some motion in front of the PIR sensor, then you see green LED on and servo is operate. That means door is open. If 
with the red LED on, you can indicate the fluid is closed. You have to put one delay system, go to the control block and take delay, one second delay. Now start simulate. Now body is there is some motion, the servo is operate and wait for one second. Means I have to put two. Means door is open and wait for two second. After that, there is after that sensor indicates there is no motion, then door automatically closes. You already seen in the mall there is automatic door opening system. You have to see when motion is there, the servo is on and wait for two second. After that, the door will be closed. If you have to make a hardware project, you have to buy servo motor, CIR, LED, breadboard, and Arduino. In the block, click here and block, click on select the block plus check. You can see this is a check code. This check code I will also give it. I will also give it in the description. You can click the link and download this code. I will give the link in the description. You can download the code and make a hardware and same connect same connection you can put it, same connect the circuit and upload the code and operate the hardware together. You can use Arduino ID for the hardware. Again we start, you can see if if motion is there, then servo is operate. Servo means this is a door, not servo. We have to use door. Now you can see the hardware project. Now you can see this is a hardware project. If you make a hardware, then you can see the output. If body motion is same, then servo will open the door like that. You can see this is a hardware project. This is a servo motor, this is PIR and this is RD. If PIR sensor detects the body, then servo will operate. You can also make the hardware project like that. Code also given in description. If you have any problem, you can also comment it. Also. If you have not subscribed the channel, please subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon button. Then my next video will be notified to you. Thank you all friends.